I love the bass. I love the Lopez. Hello there, Apathians. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. It's Lauren here. How's it going? Happy holidays, happy new year, Merry Christmas, whatever. I'm here in the new year with more Opeth. So this is on the album that started it all. I am assuming there's no demon. I think this is the demonless album, I'm pretty sure. But he might just show up and surprise me like a little Christmas gift. Doesn't everyone want a demon for Christmas? Cause I sure do. So sorry if you were hoping for some demon or for like a big epic thing. Cause this is a shorter one. It's still going to be epic. I don't mean that. That wasn't an Opeth diss. I'm just saying. I don't think it's going to have all the sections and all the positions and all the stuff because it's only 548. You never know. Those Opeth boys. Okay, here we go. first time Mocha's coming this is the first time that I've ever listened to an Opa song and genuinely was not a fan of it I'm very surprised I didn't think that was ever going to happen what do you think you missed it I don't know about that <laughs> that was uh is he gonna do that the whole song because I don't know What do you think of that? I could see doing that for maybe like the first line or something, but that was a whole verse of that. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. What do you think? But yeah, I don't ever remember. I mean, there, there might've been a song that had like a lot of demony demon. And I was like, I don't know about this demon, but this, I like legitimately just do not like the sound of that. He sounds like a robot. Like a robot decided to make a song. I hate to be negative because I love these guys so much. But I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I'm sorry. I'm legitimately nervous. I'm going to have an Eminem and think about it. Think about what I've just heard. Just a sec. I was seeing who plays on this album. Michael, Peter, bass guy, Martin Mendez, and Martin Lopez. I really don't know what is up with that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not sure about that. But the rest of it, he just got really, he just brought a whole lot of soul in here. What album is Burden on? Because that was when I first heard him do the whole soul thing. And I thought, holy cow, Demon's got soul. Oh, it's on Watershed. Okay. I'm really torn on the verses of this, but the rest of it I really like. Let me see what people are saying. Oh, I did want to get into the lyrics. I feel like I'm just stuck on this thing because he did say something really profound. Someone said so much Floyd. There was a, in like two minutes or so, 
All right, let me go back to the to the lyrics. See, I was so distracted by the way he sung this that I totally missed. I can't see the meaning of this life I'm leading. I try to forget you as you forgot me. This time, there is nothing left for you to take. This is goodbye. Yeah, this is some powerful stuff. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I feel really bad now that I was so negative to start with. Yeah, this is this is really... My apologies again. I, uh, I mean no disrespect, and hopefully you know that. Yeah, these lyrics are very powerful. Maybe you just sort of get used to that, that style. Maybe that style was on purpose. I'm sure it is, but like the purpose meaning, like there's no, there's no life in it. You know, it's very sort of one note, very mundane, very static, very not a lot of life to it, not a lot of flavor. You know what I mean? So maybe it's sung like that to sort of drive these lyrics home. That's my guess. To try to get analytical here. In that way, it makes a lot of sense. You know, if you've just sort of checked out, then, um... You alright? But then he got really, really into it, so I don't know. What part did he sing? I'm going to start this over, I think. Now that I sort of know what's going on, um, yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Stages of the rapture born within this lost thoughts of death inside tear me apart from the core of my soul. Somewhere is miles and miles away. very powerful song and he's killing it in these soulful sections I'm still not sure about the verses just the sound of them not the meaning I mean, like not lyrically not stylistically why they chose to do it that way I just mean the sound of it I'm not like loving I still you know what I'm gonna say there is just it is amazing that this is the same person. It just blows my mind every time to hear a vocal like that and to know there's a demon inside. It's just crazy. All right, let's keep going. have to give a shout out to Martin Lopez because Martin Lopez is just like I know this song is really deep and the lyrics in this particular section are very meaningful but I'm just gonna really distract you and he did I mean he's saying Michael's saying would someone watch over me in my time of need and Martin Lopez is just and then we just had a really cool position just like the note choice I guess from one note to the next, that was a really cool position that we got to hear again. I might have to hear that Lopez part again, though. So shout out to Martin Lopez. He's just um, dominating. He just decided to put a drum solo in right now. Like, not when there's no vocal, just like during the vocal. I'm just going to have a drum solo. Whatever the mood strikes, I guess. All right, let me go back.
predict the ending, which is really stupid to do. Do they just repeat this to the end and sort of fade out with it? Or do they do like Michael drops out and just the music fade out to the end of it? Or that's really all I got. I know the song isn't over yet, but I'm really torn on this one. All right, let's 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 finish this. I don't know. Step up. Okay, I'm curious what you will have to say about this. You probably think I'm crazy. I mean, I get the impact lyrically of the song and musically too, but those verses are just really throwing me the sound of them. If I'm correct in why they're sung that way, I think that makes a lot of sense. But just, I don't know, I'm so torn. I mean, he's doing some amazing vocal things. And lyrically, the song is very powerful, so I'm not just going to write it off as a song I'm never going to listen to again. But, hmm, I don't know. Let me know how you feel. In the meantime, I'm going to listen to it again, and I'll be right back. Hey there, I'm back. I wish I could come up with a firm opinion on how I feel about the song. But right now, I'm sort of like, I'm still torn. <laughs> I'm still torn. I love the lyrics. I love the meaning behind it. How profound it is. I love the bass. I love the Lopez. I love um, the soulful sections. I just don't know. <laughs> As a whole, I just don't know. I'm going to have to give it some time, I think. This one will take some time. But I, I'm just curious what you guys think of it. I'm sure you don't have a negative thing to say about it unless you're a huge Demon fan. This might not be quite your speed. So, Opethians, thanks so much for watching. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Look for more Opeth soon. Let me know what titles, live performances, whatever, acoustic stuff, interviews, whatever. Give me all the Opeth because um, it's always a good time. So, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you for the next one. I chose this song simply by googling Opeth songs and the first one that I didn't know is the one I was going to do. And that's how In My Time of Need was chosen. In case you were curious, now you know. However, I was just thinking this would be a perfect example of a song to play for someone not knowing that this band has a demon. Just to see their face when you play the demon. <laughs> because this is so far from demon.